What's up everybody? Hope you're doing really well. If you're new here, my name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I'm going to explain why and how I started eating healthy and how I continue to eat healthy every single day. And be sure to watch all the way to the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing how you can get my personal meal plan with over 50 healthy recipes absolutely free. I have been so excited to make this video because I think you're going to get so much value out of it. Changing my diet was and still is a huge part of my journey of self-improvement as it really helps support my overall health. So before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer that I am not a dietitian or a nutrition professional, I am just a regular guy sharing my experience with food. I will be labeling foods as healthy and unhealthy in this video, which I know can be a touchy subject for some people, so I just wanted to give you a quick heads up. But with that being said, let's get right into it. So I had a pretty unhealthy diet for most of my life. Sometimes my parents would cook me something healthy, but once I started living on my own, I ate whatever I wanted, and usually it was very unhealthy. I would eat at fast food restaurants at least once a day, and at home, I ate processed box foods like frozen pizzas and Kraft dinner. And as I got older, this really started to catch up with me, and I developed more and more physical symptoms. My acne just kept getting worse, I kept putting on weight, and I just felt hot and inflamed throughout the day. And of course, there's that uncomfortable stomach pain that would come whenever I ate something really unhealthy. And while these symptoms were relatively minor, I knew they were just gonna continue to get worse and worse with time. So right before I was gonna have to buy new pants because my old ones were getting too tight, I asked myself a serious question. What am I gonna wait for? until I make a change? Am I gonna wait until I get some major disease or have symptoms that I just simply can't put up with? I decided that I wasn't gonna wait for a serious problem to come up. I was gonna change my diet right away. And my goal was simple. I wanted to be on the same team as my body. So instead of eating foods that cause disease and made my body feel worse with time, I wanted to eat foods that made my body stronger and that supported my immune system so I could better fight off disease. I wanted to eat in a healthy and sustainable way. But how was I going to do this? I feel like a lot of us struggle when we start eating healthier because we don't develop a system or a plan. We have one healthy meal or maybe a few days of healthy eating, but it's so easy for us to fall back into our old habits. And I really didn't want this to happen to me. I wanted to transition from my really unhealthy diet to a really healthy diet. So I created a plan. And the first part of that plan was to stop eating unhealthy food. And I started by creating rules for myself. The first rule was no more Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is a popular breakfast chain here in Canada, and they serve donuts and coffee, and what I used to get was iced cappuccinos. These were big milkshake-like things that had like 70 grams of sugar in them. I used to have Tim Hortons for breakfast every single day. So the first rule was definitely no more Tim Hortons. The second rule was no more frozen pizzas. I used to love having frozen pizzas every night for dinner, and so I definitely had to cut that out. I also said, no more junk food. So I threw out all the junk food I had in my house and told myself I can't bring in any more. I also said, no more processed sugars or foods that have processed sugar in them. And making these rules really helped accelerate my transition to healthy eating. And these rules kind of forced me to take action because I still needed to eat, but now I needed to figure out what I was going to eat. I knew I wanted to eat healthy, but what was actually healthy? Turns out this is a really hotly debated topic and you're gonna get different answers depending on who you ask. So instead of asking people, I turned to science. So I looked through the nutrition research and nutrition studies to try to find the healthiest diet. 
food is essentially the fuel that we put into our bodies and I wanted to put in the best fuel possible. And despite this being a controversial topic, the research was really pointing me towards a whole food, plant-based diet consisting of fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, and nuts and seeds. There is a lot of research to back up the disease-fighting ability of this diet, but most importantly, it just made sense to me. My common sense agreed that these foods were healthy. So I ended up concluding that a whole food, plant-based diet was the healthy way of eating that I was going to work towards. And I started one step at a time, or more specifically, one recipe at a time. The first thing I did was replace my fast food breakfast with a really tasty overnight oats recipe. I really like this recipe because it's simple and in 10 minutes I could prepare five servings that would be ready to go in the fridge in the morning. This was actually the first video that I did and you can find it right here. Then I made a chili recipe for my lunches and a pasta recipe for my dinners. And every time I cooked, I was always sure to make enough servings for the next four to six days. This way, I wouldn't have to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, and some days I didn't have to cook at all. And I continued to try new recipes that fit in with my new way of eating. But I found that when I tried a recipe, it was almost never perfect, and I would often adjust the ingredients and the instructions to my liking. And it was at this point that I developed my meal plan system, which is essentially my own personal recipe book. Let's take a look. So I created a Word document on my computer, and my idea was to have a whole page for each recipe. This way, I would have one document that contains all my recipes, and I could easily edit them to my liking. So when it's time to cook, I just open this document, click on whatever recipe I'm making in the table of contents, and it will take me to that recipe page. And each recipe page has where the recipe originally came from, the number of servings, the cooking time, the ingredients, the instructions, and also my personal notes about the recipe. I slowly built this meal plan document one recipe at a time, and now it has over 50 recipes to choose from. Today, I eat a completely vegan, whole food, plant-based diet with no oil, and all the recipes in this meal plan fit that description. I also developed a grocery list system so that I could quickly and easily create my grocery list before I go shopping. Let me show you how it works. I use the Apple Notes app for my grocery list system because I can access it both on my computer and also my phone. I created folders for each of the recipe categories which match the sections in my Word document. I then created a note for each recipe and copy and pasted the ingredients from my Word document to that note. So every time I need to go grocery shopping, I pin to the top whichever recipes I want to make. Then I take inventory of what I currently have and uncheck the ingredients I don't. This system allows me to create my grocery list quickly and tells me exactly what I need to buy. I find this is a lot more convenient than making a shopping list every time and it also helps me limit my food waste as I only buy what I know I'm going to use. So that's my meal plan system and how it works. And I hope you found it interesting because I want to give you my personal meal plan with over 50 recipes for free. It took me dozens of hours to create this and I was really excited to share it with you because I think it would be extremely helpful if you're trying to eat healthier. All you need to do is one, subscribe to this YouTube channel and two, enter your email in the first link in the description. That will sign you up for my mailing list so I can send you my personal meal plan. I will never sell or spam your email and I will only email you if I think it's something that will truly benefit your life. And of course, you can unsubscribe at any time. One week from now, on February 19th, I will be sending my personal meal plan to everyone on my mailing list. And if you're watching this after February 19th, that's okay too. Just follow those two steps, send me an email, and I'll be happy to send it to you as well. So be sure to follow those two steps to get my personal meal plan for free. 
and share this video with a friend so they can get it as well. You'll get both a PDF version so you can view it on your phone or your tablet and a Word document version so you can make changes to the recipes and turn them into your own. Lastly, I just wanted to mention that food can be very powerful, so be sure to work with nutrition and medical professionals before you make any drastic changes to your diet, especially if you take medications. So that's it. I am so excited to be finally sharing my meal plan with you. There's just a few things I need to finish up before I send it to you on the 19th. In the meantime, feel free to check out the other food related videos on my channel as they all feature recipes from my meal plan. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. Thank you so much and have a great day. Peace! Thank you.